हेलो भिवर्स ओलकाम टू माई टेक अपडेट्स अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल पावर बै टेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट कम हेलो इन दिस टीटोरियल हाउ टू इन्स्टल जाबिक्स सेवेन पॉइंट जिरो ऑन डिवियन टुएल्व दिस इज माई सार्वर इनफरमेशन दिस इज माई सार्वर इनफरमेशन आईपी एड्रेस टेन डट सिक्सटी सिक्स टेन डट टुएल्व रैम टू जिबी डिस्क स्पेस फिफ्टी जिबी सार्विस जाबिक्स Javix 7.0. This is alpha release. Uh, as like pre-release. Now I am checking my server version and IP address. This is Debian 12, and this is my server IP address. Must be your server update and upgrade using this command. Apt update and apt upgrade. Update and upgrade done. Now install some packages. Transport HTTP and the CS certificate. Installation done. Now install PHP for required packages. Apache service not needed because. My web server is nginx, so I will stop Apache after installation process. PHP installation done. Now I am checking PHP is working from my server. So create info dot PHP file, insert this code. And now access this server IP address and slash info dot php is php is working fine. Now install database server. The database is MariaDB server. Database server installation done. Now download. Zabbix pre-release package for Zabbix server 7.0. Now extract this using dbkg command. Now update this Zabbix repo and then install Zabbix server MySQL, Zabbix frontend, Zabbix nginx conf, Zabbix SQL script, and Zabbix agent. Zabbix dependency packages installation done. Now going to MySQL terminal. Default password is blank. Change authentication string. Check authentication string root is invalid authentication. Now I am change this native password authentication string and set up. My root password, and uh, then again check authentication string. This is okay authentication string. This is next step for required Zabbix packages. Create database, create user, and grant privilege. Now I am run this command using one command. Now exit MySQL terminal. And now import Zabbix default database using Zabbix created user and password. Now wait at least one or two minute for import default database from this location. Sometime this location changed from Zabbix officially. Uh, so you can must find out user share Zabbix SQL script 
and my school server.school.gz file or you can check javix forum website for correct this server location school script file it may take one or two minutes for import javix default database into your server now running database imported yes successfully import done now again going to my school terminal for change default global configuration set global and then flash privilege and exit from my school terminal and now open javix server configuration file for insert javix db name javix user and javix password scroll down javix default javix db name is javix but my db name is javix underscore db and the default username is javix this is my password and remove this hash mark ctrl x press y and hit enter for save and open nginx con file and scroll down remove this comment section and the server name if you want to use your domain name so must be type here your domain name and if you not use domain then must be use your ip address and listen ip must be 80 ctrl x press y and hit enter for save now run this all service my school server agent and nginx i see nginx is a problem because of my server another web server is running so must be stop this service and then again restart all services and enable this service now going to web browser for web installation process just going to setup.php file welcome to Zabbix 7.0 this is alpha release this is alpha 3 release all is successfully ok green icon localhost zabbix db zabbix user and zabbix user password copy and paste zabbix server name i am using my domain name pre-installation summary next step Congratulations, you have successfully installed Zabbix frontend. Finish. Login using admin. U admin must be a capital and the password is Zabbix. J A B B I X. Zabbix. Click sign in. Zabbix server is running. Yes. 7.0 alpha Zabbix version. This is 7.0 alpha 3 version. smooth menu for Javix latest version this is host green is successfully working services inventory report you can find more tutorial from my channel Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please submit your valuable comments. Please subscribe my channel, like and share with others. And don't forget press the bell icon, get the first notification.